I'm gonna be live. Alright. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. Okay. Uh, if you are just joining us, this is Fish Academy and it's my humble self, Kufre Ibanga Francis, the CEO of the uh, First Fish Academy. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you guys that uh, have made this channel your most preferred channel on YouTube and uh, for always standing by me uh, for your support in terms of uh, prayers and in terms of uh, yeah in terms of prayers I appreciate all of you guys but before I continue uh, let me first of all uh, thank Mr. Martin for who gave a call and uh, asking if I'm gonna be live uh, today he has always been checking on me and uh, in fact every Sunday he has been calling to, uh, to know if I'm going to be live or not. So today he decided to do that and I uh, promised him I'm going to be live. So thank you for always checking on me, Rokado. Alright, so today, before I continue, I would like to get feedback. Uh, happy New Month, before I forget. Happy New Month to each and every one of you watching this program. Um, first of all, before I continue, I would like to know how you are getting me in your location in terms of the audio and the video quality how is the audio and the video quality you can uh, drop your feedback using the comment box or you call the number that is on the title uh, 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 that is on the title there plus 2348069035397 i would like to have feedback on how the audio and how you are receiving me in terms of the video and the audio quality don't forget i'm happy to be live with her all right i i ha i have a call here so actually let's know if this person is actually oh that's that was uh, i think that was a flash maybe the okay to to you to you now who designs says that the video and the audio is okay thank you very much for the feedback uh, i believe i'm good to go now with the response from to you uh thank you very much please if you if you want to call us please endeavor to even if you want to drop your message on the comment section i would like to know where you have been from and your name your name and where you have been from um Okay, watching from India, the audio and the video is superb. Fred Godwin. Thank you, Fred Godwin from India. Uh, thank you for checking. Don't forget, we are broadcasting from Nigeria. And uh, we are here to give you the best again today. Uh, before now, uh, I've already made a video, okay, to you watching from Lagos, uh, Abiyokobo Godfrey video and uh, video quality is okay thank you very much thank you very much for the feedback i'm being from south florida okay mr williams all right thank you go go williams all right thank you very much being from florida all right so um actually before we continue in case for um, i cause some people might not actually stay to the end of this program we are going to do our best to remain live with you guys uh for about one hour on or beyond we're going to do our best to remain on life for about an hour all right so um uh, it is good news and uh, you know i've been sharing different things with you guys and uh, the latest is our project that is going that is ongoing in emo state a hundred thousand capacity ultra modern fish farm i target a 2021 model you are going to see how that is going to look like actually it's going to be a 2021 model and we are going to do our best to ensure we deliver that job within uh, uh, with a very short uh, uh, time within a period it's very short uh, period we're going to do our best to ensure we deliver that so as i said that project belongs to uh, mr mecca this time around mr mecca opara which you will see which you will, you will see in one of my video uh maybe before we complete the project and however we have a video on ground that uh, uh maybe i'm going to post that video 
uh, immediately after this live program or um, in, the, in the next uh, 12 hours from, uh, yeah, and then maybe another two, uh, six hours from now. Okay, and that video is all about uh, uh, bloating uh, uh, fish, you know, and uh, how you can actually take care of that. And it's, it's pure practical, it's pure practical. I believe once I drop that video, you are going to enjoy it. The video, the video has been made already. It's a pure practical video of about 10 minutes uh, view, which I would like. Once I post, you you view that. Okay, from Pakistan and uh, from uh, DR Congo. Thank you all of you guys for watching at our program. All right, all right. So um, let me not, uh, uh, just like the way we've been coming up, uh, just like the way this live program have been coming up, you know, we do appreciate uh, uh, phone calls. That's why there's a number right there on the screen below this video where we have the title, where we have your plus 23480-6903. That number, you can call that number now. Once you call that number, we are going to talk to you live. Your voice is going to be heard on this platform, but please, when you call, mention your name and where you are calling from. And um, this time around, as I said, on this platform, I'm not just going to be the one talking. That's why we always call for people that also have knowledge on fish farming for them to contribute on this platform. So in case you have discovered any new thing as a fish farmer, either new or old, and you want to make your contribution, you want to share your idea with the fellow farmers that are watching this program, this platform is for you, for you to call live. Let the people hear you because once you call, the, the your voice is going to be amplified and um, everybody are going to hear what you are going to say. And with that, you are going to help contribute to the fish industry. Don't forget, sharing is caring. And that is what we do in Fish Academy. We share because we care. All right. So within the, the week, last week, I was in Lagos State. Uh, we're going to pick this call and then after this call, we we'll start. Hello? Hello? Okay, we can't get that. All right, please, if you are the one that call, you can call again. All right, so before uh, the call came in, I'm trying to say that uh, this time, let's see if we'll be able to call the business. Hello? Hello? Hello there. Hi, Francis. Yeah. Is it Francis from Fish Academy? Yeah, this is Francis of Fish Academy. Oh, my God. Thank you for hearing that. I'm so glad that I, get, I got through to you. I was just watching your uh, channel live a minute ago. All right. So your name and where you yeah, are. Your, yeah, your, um, your name and where you are calling uh -huh. from. Your name and where you are calling from. Uh, my my name is John Omara, and I'm calling from uh, uh, England, United Kingdom. All right. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go ahead, I can hear um, you. I plan, yeah, yeah, I plan on start, starting a fish farm in uh, Uganda, but I was just wondering, I have a quick question for you, Francis. How, like, what is the pond size you need to, uh, to raise 500 fish? All right, the pond size you need to raise a 500 fish. Oh, all right, I think what, what you need there for 500 fish, yeah, um, something of um, uh, mm -hmm. let's say uh, 500 fish. It depends on how many kg you want to raise a fish to. That is what will determine the size of the pond. If you want to raise it to one kg, if you want to raise it to two kg, yeah. if you just want to raise it to 500 grams, that will determine the size. Uh, of the one. Pond. Yeah, one. Yeah, one kg to begin with, probably just you know to make quick sales and stuff like that. It'll be easier, you know. All right. Oh, however, for 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 a one thousand for a one thousand fish, all you need is a twelve by twelve size of a pond, twelve by twelve feet size of a pond for a one kg. And uh, if you want to divide that, maybe 
then you can go for uh, let's say six by six i think that would be too small but for but for 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 one thousand fish you need up to a 12 by 12 feet size to grow one thousand fish to a one kg all right so Okay, so what I say you do for for one thousand? Can you repeat that? You need a twelve by twelve square feet. Twelve by twelve. I mean, sorry, uh, uh, twelve by twelve feet for you to grow up about uh, one thousand fish to a one kg uh, size. You need twelve by twelve. Twelve by twelve. Feet. Twelve, twelve, twelve by twelve feet. Yeah. 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 All right. And uh, and uh, how much in height? Sorry? Five feet height. Five feet. Uh, five feet. Yeah, five feet. Five feet. Five feet high. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 it's a twelve, twelve by twelve feet length, and, and uh, obviously it's gonna be like a square, yeah, and then five yeah, feet square, high, square. and that's for one thousand fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twelve by twelve square. It's a square. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. Thank you very, very much. I've just been watching your Fish Academy. It's been teaching me almost everything, man. All right. Thank you for making this channel your most preferred channel on YouTube. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will like it and I'll pass it on to my friends. Thank you very much, Francis. All right. Thank you. I think there's a person that is calling. All right. So, um, thank you very much for checking on us. All right. Um, thank you. All right. All right. So uh so we that was a, a call and they're trying to know the size of a pond uh, for him to stock his fish however uh, before the call uh, I, I was trying to say that uh, but this time last week sunday like this i was in lagos state southwest nigeria uh, where uh, I, I visited mr richard's uh, site where he intend to set up a fish farm in the in in lagos state so uh that's uh, why I, I wasn't able to come up live because uh, I, I didn't move with all everything that i need to uh, use to set up my studio in order for me to come up live so i didn't move with them at all that that what that was why i wasn't live last week sunday but uh, today i said no no matter what i i got to be live and uh, i did everything possible to ensure I'm live today. All right. So, also within this week, within this week, we've been able to uh, not just let me not say within this week. Today, today we made three delivery. We made three delivery. Uh, one to Mr. Kuf, uh, Miss, Miss, uh, Mrs. or Miss Kufre in our Kwaibu State. My namesake. Uh, we just delivered. Uh, we just uh, we built that to our Kwaibu State. And uh, this morning we also we built to another person in taraba state uh, taraba state still in nigeria and also we also will build a uh, machine today to ibadan today still today we did three uh, we build today to different location so in case you are watching this program know that your some of them may have arrived their destination and some are still on their way especially the one going to taraba state from port harcourt all right, so uh, also within the week, we we make some successful sales uh, uh, in terms of our fingerlings, I mean, sorry, post fingerlings and some juvenile. We had someone that came in from Bielsa, we had people that came in from other places to get their fish and uh, they testify on, 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 on getting to their, their end. Uh, I got a good news, we didn't, we lost I mean nothing nothing just the delivery was perfect you know so when i said when we sell you fish we sell you quality fish and we assure you that nothing as far as fish academy is concerned you have nothing to fear when you buy anything from us and i want to thank you all most of you that trust us uh making payments even when you you don't you don't know us then you make payments to our accounts in order to get something from us uh, you, you know it, it has always been success uh, for those of you that have done business with me a lot of people anyway so uh, also within the uh, last week we tried to drop a message on our community page on YouTube uh, uh, asking some of you may have seen 
uh, the, the the request and um, a lot of people have voted and uh, I got a lot of feedback as regards uh, the videos that uh, you will really wish to see uh, this month. I, I, we in Fish Academy, we want to give you the best. We don't want to hide anything from you. For those of you that have been calling, you know that we don't hide anything from anybody. Those of you, we don't hide anything from anybody and um, we've been trying our best. Someone someone sent me a message today and um, said that, um, you know, that is really, really happy that uh, it, you now believe that uh, when you share, you don't lose anything when you share. So I believe we in Fish Academy, we have nothing to lose sharing all that you need to know. So we continue to share, share and share. And as we continue to share knowledge as regards fish farming, we also like you to always click on the share button below the video in order for you to also share. Help reach out to a lot of fish farmers that have not yet discovered a fish academy channel. Uh, however, our total views on this channel we have, uh, okay, okay, our total views on this channel we have over 1.3 million views over 1.3 million views if you want to know not if you want to see that then you can go to our, uh, our channel check our profile on youtube then you know that we've gotten about what over 1.3 million to two views of all our videos and uh, we have out of the 1.3 million views we have over 37,000 subscribers which i believe that as that you that is watching this video right now that i want to believe that you are one of our subscriber and if you've not yet subscribed to this channel just want you to look below, below the video click on the subscribe button once you click on the subscribe button also endeavor to turn on the notification bell this will enable you to be notified whenever we bring you a new video i want this uh, this program to be interactive i i don't know why people are not calling it used this this program used to be very very interactive i don't just want to be the only one talking I don't want to be the only one talking and um, this program I don't have anything in mind right now to tell to tell you the questions that you are going to send to me the questions that you are going to drop that is what I'm going to discuss that's ex exactly what I'm gonna I don't have anything in mind all right so please do well to call us now ask your question any question as regards fish farming or you anything you want to say or you want to make some contribution this platform is open for everybody we don't hide knowledge and we won't want you to like knowledge to hide any knowledge okay also in case you just joining us and uh, if you like this program i would like just want you to like look below the video all again and then you see the thumbs up button the thumbs up button you click on it okay we have eight like already let's see we have uh, 27 people viewing this already let's see if, you've, if you like this program right now, check below the video, click on the thumbs up button. And if you don't like what we are doing right now, if you don't like what we are doing, then you can use the thumb down button. We, as I said, that is our, that is a, is a feedback to us. When we see thumbs up, we know that we are doing good. And when we see thumb down, we know that there's something wrong. Uh, so please uh, use those uh, buttons in, uh, in order for you to, all right, so I'm going to go straight to answer the questions that uh, that are here. I have my own mobile phone here, and uh, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to scroll in order to to see your questions so that I can answer them one after the other. Don't forget, it's your humble friend, Kufre Francis. Okay, okay. I want to go in there so that I can get your questions. All right. All right. So, I have the questions here. I have the you have your questions here now, and then um, I'm gonna treat them from the beginning to the very last question. I have them here. All right. So, um, I'm gonna do this once I, I I answer the questions here. Once I answer the questions here, I'm also gonna uh, visit uh, the WhatsApp and then to answer some questions that have been dropped there on WhatsApp. All right, so I'm going to start with the very first uh, 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 comment, a uh, question, a uh, comment that entered here, and that was from Toju Nayu, to, to you Nayu Designs. 
I believe to you now, now too, the Zions is into fashion and um, uh, I believe one day he's going to make me some good fabrics, you know, that I'll put on with Fish Academy on it and I'll say this is from to you now you designs all right so thank you for the feedback to you uh fred godwin okay I've, I've mentioned this before watching from india and he said the video is superb all right and we have bio kobo godfrey said video quality is very very okay all right also we have m m digra giving all the thumbs up telling us that everything is okay i also have one two three from pakistan uh, saying that everything is great. Thank you from Pakistan. We have Long Tongo from DRC Congo. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, uh, say uh, Sakum, say watching from Brooklyn. More power to you, bro. Been watching you for a while. Uh, I sincerely learn a lot from your platform. Uh, thank you for always checking on our channel. We we got a lot for you. All right, we are from Smak. We are from Smaku. All right, we have uh, we have from Smaku. So watching, no, I've mentioned that. All right, we have John from John Ochoala. John Ochoala say hi, Francis. I'm wondering what porn size. Okay, okay. I think we've we've actually discussed that of John Ochoala. Uh, we've actually discussed that, and then we have um, Hajam. I learned from you uh, make okay it's asking us uh, that I should make another video on how to make a water filter that video we are going to uh, uh, bring that light uh, we're gonna we are preparing to make that video and that video we actually uh, come on uh, on this channel again all right we have Eric Edem Eric Edem say awesome thank you Eric Edem for your feedback all right all right, you have Ola Yemi Ayinde. Uh, how do I construct a concrete pond where my juvenile will not be able to swim out with when training the pond? Okay, that is a very good question for the day. How do I construct a fish pond so that when I'm discharging water, the water, the fish, my the juvenile or the fingerlings or the post fingerlings won't go out together with them? Um, with the with the with the discharge water all right i think that's a very good question i think we have such video on our screen and um on this channel however a, a quick one to drop to a quick answer whenever you con when you construct your pawn uh endeavor to uh, place a screen uh place a screen so that uh, that screen will screen the fish and the water so that when you're, you're discharging your water the the fish won't go out from it i think i'm going to make a video all you need to do is, is practical stuff man so i'm going to make a video about that hopefully uh, before the end of this week so that you actually uh, uh see what i'm talking about i believe in practical not much of a theory because i might say it and you don't understand but what i'm trying to say that you place you where you have your discharge perforate a pipe place it and the in the elbow and then so that whenever you are discharging your water the water won't the fish won't go out together with your water there are disadvantages fish going out with the, your discharge water there are so many disadvantages one you end up stressing the fish you know there are there are people have visited so many farms and i think i have a lot of experience talking about uh, farms because of the farms i've visited yeah, some people when they want to discharge their water, they place a sieve, a filter outside, and then they discharge it while the fish rush into the rush into the filter. And I want to use this medium to say that 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 is very very wrong. You end up stressing the fish, you end up infecting the fish before be, after before you end up before changing your water before you complete your water, the fish has been infected already, and then putting them into the pond then they, they have already contacted a disease that you will not be able to take care of okay so please there is a need for a screen inside your pond so that the discharge water the fish will not go out together with the discharge water as i said that is one of the uh, uh good questions that i'm saying here today All right so i will invite you soon for a fifty thousand holding capacity construction eric edem eric edem where will that be i'll, I'll be very very happy uh, I'll be very, very happy to be part of that project 
and if possibly to be the one to set up that 50,000 capacity ultra modern fish farm for you I don't know when you're gonna do that if it's gonna still be a 2021 model or a 2022 model but I wish you good luck soon that you can start the project in NS all right so uh, Eric Edem watching from Ghana all right thank you very much and how is Ghana today Eric Edem all right you say Abioko Goffrey Joffrey Joffrey sorry Joffrey what the market determinant for the price of one kg catfish I think is high time price of standard is high time price is standardized to encourage farmers um was it last week I came across uh, uh, I came across uh, 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 something I think like a memo uh, I don't know if I don't know how real that is I'm talking about the Lagos State uh, Catfish Farmers Association, something like that. All right, and uh, I, what I saw there, they were trying to list out the price of fish, how it should be sold within uh, Lagos. Um, uh, well, uh, actually, the price of fish need to be standardized. I agree with you, uh, Geoffrey. All right, I, the price should be standardized um because the price of fish feed is also standardized so i also agree with you that the price of fish be standardized so that the farmers won't lose but um uh, you know uh, there are people that want to make a lot of gains there are people that want to make little gains so when for example when people that want to make a lot of gains uh, you know you know it's just like every other business i uh, like some of the people there are people that when they sell their they are thin and they are making 100, 100 naira from it each and there are people that want to sell and make 500 naira at the end of the day the person that is gaining 100 naira will make a quick turnover better than the people that are selling 500 naira however i'm not trying to uh, to say that the pre the price of fish shouldn't be standardized i support standard uh, standardization in the in term of the uh, uh, fish price all right so um okay we also have from to you put a pipe in a tiny hose all right i think this is a feedback this is a uh, this thing as regards uh, the question that was asked iman ali salam brother ali iman usa uh, may, all right uh, thank you very much i i guess is a greetings all right also we have um, from imando please i want to know the pond size for five thousand catfish all right I just mentioned it some minutes ago. For 1,000 fish, you need a 12 by 12 feet uh, square feet uh, pond for 1,000 fish. Also, David Nga, sorry in case I don't pronounce your name very well, please forgive me. Uh, what number of pond, what number of pond and dimension will, will I require to raise 2,000 fish? That has been answered already. All right, I want to raise swar bazaar fish here in florida will you please advise me as to what vendor to use if possible all right i think i will come back to you as uh, williams as regards that all right we also have a will solutions how much will it cost to raise 1000 fish how much will it cost to raise 1000 fish it cost uh, it takes a one, uh, one kg uh, about one kg of fish feed for your fish to attain one kg uh, size so you go check out the price of fish feed in your area and then you know what it will cost for you to raise uh, 1000 fish all right so also we have um johnny don't okay i live in wisconsin where where it gets very very cold months out of the year and water freeze for a few months how big do i think can fish get in four to five months if they grow in the outdoor pond all right i think uh said they stay in a very cold area you know there are some fish that can that survive cold weather and there are fish that don't survive it at all okay so you will look for the fish that survive in your own geological uh in your own location uh to grow them all right so all right okay another swaby imandu hello please how much will it cost for you to hash for me um 
Well, as I said, we don't just ask for people. When we when we ask, we try to manage. We don't just ask and then we leave. We manage what we have done. And uh, for you, for more details as regards your question, uh, I would like you to use the comment section so that we discuss it proper. All right. And also before we even come, to, before we agree to ask for you, then you must have a a good facility, a facility, a standard facility that uh, we know that once we do something or if you don't have the facility, we can also help you set up the facility. So the facility matters a lot. All right. Um, all right. I'm watching from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. What's the best fit for great growth? As I said, uh, we're talking about the f best fit you just get just all you need is for you to get a very good feed uh i'm not going to advertise any product that uh, here on this channel uh, you know in order for me not to get myself into trouble or get them into trouble okay because uh you don't just advertise things like that okay you don't just advertise so any feed you get is okay just try if you want to reach me uh, uh, private in private okay you can do that all right so so Harrison how can I have your contact yeah Harrison you just check the the t title of this uh, video uh, first uh, digits the first uh, uh, 11 uh, about how many digits is there that's my contact then you can call me all right Dilong Kata from London would you recommend raising multiple species of fish yeah, if if the species of fish do survive in your area, there's nothing bad about it. You can actually raise it, all right? Like in Nigeria, most of the fish that are grown here is catfish and tilapia, all right? So, okay, we do actuarial design construction plus fish farming. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right got that. Right. Hello, fish family. Oh, my God. A lot of messages, a lot, a lot of messages a lot of messages um i think um i would like if you can uh, call we have a lot of messages all right so uh before the uh, before we actually started this video we said that um we don't just want to be doing things because on our own without getting an uh, an input from you being the viewers being our followers you actually you know what you want uh, we we will do our own best, but you know what you need most. So what you need most are those things that you really need to tell us, so that uh, so that uh, we can also we can make those things live on this on this channel. As I said, it's not all about uh, talking too much. It's not all about that. What you need those things you need to succeed in fish farming is practical pure practical those are what you need and those things are the things we do place on our channel as i said there's a video that i'm going to drop immediately after this live broadcast that is going to be beneficial to all of you okay because it's going to be very very beneficial to you so and it's pure practical so i when when people call me say please i want to do this i refer them to a video you call me, you need this, I refer you to a video. We have over 300 videos on this channel, and um, all of them show how to do different things. I, I hardly repeat videos, you know, talking about 300 videos, different kinds, you know, you know we've, we've done, and uh, we keep doing more, especially this month. All right, so if you're just joining us, don't forget, it's your humble friend, Kufre Francis. Uh, broadcasting from Port Harcourt River State and um, and also thank you when as I said we have an ongoing project in Imo State a hundred thousand capacity ultra modern fish farm a 2021 model which is ongoing and um, I really want you to follow me on that project we do mega projects like the one we did in Anambra State, we do mega project like the one we did in Enugu State, like uh, the remodeling we did in up in Omaha Abia State, 
and now the uh, what we are currently doing in uh, Imo State, you really need to follow us because watching those videos from our pro from our project side, you're still gonna learn a lot. Especially those of you asking how do I construct pawn uh, and then this that that. If you follow us, I think there are some little things that uh, you will know. Also, uh, I also advise people. Uh, last week, someone called me that he constructed a pawn and that immediately he pumped in water into the pond that the pond collapsed as i usually say um it's better for you to do it it's better for you to do it good once than for you to construct two times three times get experts to your project site don't just uh, set up what you don't know how it really works get an expert to your site and then let them help you set it up even if you don't want them to do it for you if you want them to supervise you want them to give you guidance on how to do it it's better than you just calling the local messing people to, to to excavate then build up certainly they will tell you that they have been building before and that they are going to do it and they do it at the end of the day the pond collapse you might not be able to hold them okay uh, so that's why we do advise get experts to set up your farm for you especially when it comes to bigger farms all right oh man i think today is not that interactive at all and uh, i'm expecting calls and uh, nobody is calling maybe i didn't come up live late sorry that i didn't inform you guys that i'll be live uh uh and um i think it's i mean it's let me check i think it's 36 minutes into the program today and uh, we have just one phone call uh, let's say um, maybe I'm done solving the problem uh, as regards fish farming let me see because the last time I came up live like this there was a lot of phone calls let me say with profound solutions to a lot of uh, problem that's why we don't have uh, that's why we don't have phone calls today so uh, we keep bringing you more i uh, will keep bringing you more i don't want to talk when there is nobody talking to me when there is no phone calls when there is nothing though we have a lot of people watching this program now and uh, we got some thumbs up those i think 17 thumbs up those people are, uh, I, I think they are trying to appreciate that what i'm doing online is okay in case you are just joining us if you like what we are doing, all you need to do is just for you to check below the video, click on the thumbs up button to show that actually you like what is going on. All right, so that's that. I think we, we have we have a phone call. Let's see if this call is actually for us. Okay. Hello. Hello, good evening. This is Kufre Francis of Fish Academy. Yes, how are you today? I'm calling you from the United States. Good Canada. Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm Gaban, calling you from the United States. All right, all right, all right. We can hear you now. Go ahead. Yeah, my, yeah, you remember the bank, right? Yeah, I can remember very well. Yeah, how are you today? Very, very well. I was in school life, and um, I just got here to ask you a couple of questions, too. Okay. Yeah, um, this, um, like this, uh, you uh, are. Can I have the important machines or we can be complicated machines? All right, we have the we we have the locally made, we have the imported. It depends on the one that you need. Uh, we have the locally made, we have the imported. So the ones that are imported, they are the ones that are the filleting machines, right? Both the sinking and the for and the floating feed machine, we have them both locally made and the imported. I don't know. 
I'm not getting it to work. Yeah, I see. It's not clear. Okay, okay. All right. Maybe we'll talk later. So what I will do is uh, I will call you. I will call you again personally. I'm not getting it to work. All right, all right, all right. All right, that was a call. All right, so um, uh, let me use this medium to talk to you guys. Being that I don't have much questions today, I don't have much phone calls today. Uh, when I get back to the, your message uh, in my spare time, maybe after now, I'm going to look at the messages that you drop uh, using the comment box and I'm going to reply them. <laughs> We have a call here. Good evening, sir. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, Francis. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good evening. Yeah, nice to see you today. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for checking on me. Okay, Francis. Okay, I've got one question. Um, oh God, what's going on? I can hear you, go ahead. Oh, I think it's sorry. All right, I think, oh, uh, okay. I think maybe that should be a network issue. Been waiting for... Hello. 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 How are you doing today, Mr. Francis? Yeah, fine. Please, uh, can you please reduce the volume uh, from the device? You want me to hang for the other guys to go through? No, 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 no. Reduce, reduce the volume. Reduce the volume of your the device you are viewing us from. It's echoing. Sorry, we we'll have to end our call, please. Before you call us, endeavor to turn to reduce the volume of the device you are viewing us from. Either you're using your phone or your laptop, your television, you reduce the volume so that it won't echo. All right. Then once you do that, you can call us back. Um. All right. As I said earlier, um, let me use this medium to talk to everybody. Uh, because um, uh, fish farming here. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh. I, 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 okay. Hello? Yeah. Um, it's me again, Mr. Cochran. Yeah. I, I wasn't using the same device. I was calling from my phone while I worked with from my laptop. But in this, uh, can be clear? I can hear you. So uh, I have a couple of questions in my brain. So for the machines, how long does it take for for it to match? Like how long does it take before I get I guess that the ones that are locally fabricated and I heard from your dear students that really about a privilege that that some of them are gotten from India. So if they are, how long does it take? That's the first question. Mm -hmm. The second would be. Uh, what is the size of this uh, filter or seed that you use uh, for your filtration? I understand you said you put them up and before so that uh, you avoid contamination. And the, and the last one would be, you said somebody's uh, pump on, uh, did you say a sink or something? Collapse. Is it because of the size of the block or? Does it have any hollow? Those are my questions. I still have some. Uh, all right, I'm going to answer uh, the ones you've asked. Let me start from the last one. Uh, you're saying that someone's pond collapsed. Yeah, certainly, if you, if if your pond is not well constructed, if there's no reinforcement, nothing, and then certainly the pond will collapse. And this is as a result of the volume of water that is in it. Smaller ponds can withstand some certain types of pond 
but when it comes to bigger pond with huge volume of water if it's not well constructed the, the water the pressure will pull it down the pressure will pull it down whether you're using your six inches you're using nine inches you're using anything the pressure will pull it down so pond should be well constructed however second one let me hit your second question you're talking about machine where do you intend uh, where do you you're talking about machine and uh, you're talking about how many days it will take for it to be delivered to be delivered to where please sorry did you say delivered in nigeria to be delivered to where nigeria yeah in nigeria i suppose um sorry i uh, intend to deliver um bring them to emo state emo state all right any anytime anytime you need any of the machine uh we deliver it uh we deliver we have machines on ground anyone you need you can take okay. us maybe after now and uh, if 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 the one you are looking for is on ground already then i tell you you can pick it uh uh the day you make your payment oh yeah okay nice. we, 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 have, we, have, we have we have we have we have some we have some on ground and um so if those the one you need is on ground certainly you pay and pick and then the last okay the, and then, you say the sinking is better than the flowing i i did not say that i didn't say that oh okay that. i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah. i'm sorry i'm yeah. just which one is preferred we 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 is is about your uh, your capacity if you have the capacity of getting the floating feet uh, the floating feet machine then it's more it's advisable but if you don't then you can go for the sinking feet machine it's all the same thing just that what the only difference okay. is that the other one produces floating feet this other one produces sinking but if you should know how to feed with the sinking feet then it wouldn't be a problem to use when you don't know how to feed with sinking feet that's when it becomes a problem and which uh, 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 which becomes a problem and also uh, of polluting the water, let me put it that way. Yeah. I think that should be all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. I guess that is floating one because what, what is what doing is what doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. No problem. I think that's all. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, our co friend. All right. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, okay. Um, before I forget, before I forget, um, I told you guys the other time, we have in stock, we we've, we've, we've expand our farm in terms of finger, uh, finger lanes production, and we have a lot of it right now as I speak, good species, uh, fast growing uh, uh, finger lanes, though we sell from post finger lanes. We don't sell finger links. What we sell, we sell them from post finger links. We sell fish that we should be able to pick, pick 1.5 mm of the feet comfortably without any stress. That is the size of fish we sell from. We don't sell the fish that eat 0.5. No, we don't sell that out. Because we want every farmer, once, that's why once we deliver fish to a particular farm, we have the survival rate is always like 99.99%. .99 at times 100 percent okay so that's why we sell from post job uh, post finger links to any size you need we have post finger links on ground we have uh, juvenile uh, we have some good number of finger links we have uh, that are still uh, fries that are still coming up now uh, and then in good quantity which i'm going to be posting for you to see uh, subsequent time all right so in case you need your fish uh, although people call far not far places, the quantity will determine if we are going to deliver to the far, to far north, but and also to the west, the quantity determines if we can if we deliver to the west. But within the south south and the southeast here is an issue. Even if you, you are looking for one thousand pieces, we're going to sell that to you. You're looking for. 20,000 pieces want to sell that within the southwest you need good quantity of fish for us to send that to you for those of you that have been calling from the north asking for 2,000 fish 1,000 fish you know at times you said no it's difficult to deliver 2,000 fish to the north you know why and when, when once such is demand I tell them 
then maybe it's, it's better you source within uh, because if we are going that far to the west or down to the north, then we need to drive down, blow full AC in the car down to the destination to deliver. But getting fish from here and maybe we're doing way bill, and once it, maybe the driver they want to eat halfway and the stuff is left inside the park, I mean inside the vehicle, you know, everything gets heated up and before you know the fish are dying. So we guarantee you uh, everything good once you get our fish. People that have gotten fish from us, we don't just leave them like that. It's a good opportunity for them to reach us very, very well as customer, uh, uh, as customer and client. Let me put it that way. Yeah, because when we sell anything for you, we don't just leave you like that. We ensure that uh, we do follow up and we always call to know if the fish, for example, maybe we do web bill to you. We have to call to ensure if you receive it, if everything was successful understand and if there should be any issue we ensure we do some replacement and getting fish from us we also have some good quantity uh, added to it you know we have a lot of fish i think we can give you something good all right so those are some of the advantages getting uh fish academy post fingerlings fish academy juvenile fish academy anything you know where we are doing our best to satisfy the populace, to satisfy, to meet up demand because we do have a lot of demand and we have expanded, we've expanded to meet up that demand, that, that heat that do come to us. So fish is now available for you. All right. So uh, it's 51 minutes into the program. I said it's going to be a one, a one hour program and uh, today we don't have a lot of phone calls maybe because I didn't tell I didn't announce that I'm gonna be live um, first of all I thank you so much for always checking on us but please for those of you that have a farm ensure you know you go you don't just have a without trying to know what is happening in your farm if you want to really succeed in fish farming then you should be you should know what is happening in your farm you shouldn't just you should at times visit your farm you should try to have trusted people working for you so that they won't tell you today that this is this this is that whereas there's nothing of such happening in your farm and this is modern age so many farms that i have visited they are they are, they are what they do is that they have their cctv uh, cameras everywhere around the farm in the ashtray where they do everything their cctv camera everywhere so I think it's, it will be okay if you are not around your farm, you don't stay in the country or where your farm is, you are not close by at all. You can place such thing in your farm and you monitor your farm from, uh, using your phone. Monitor your farm from, from your office. Monitor your farm from, from your home, from your bedroom, from anywhere, from the church, from any box, anywhere. Monitor your farm. Just try to mount camera so that you know what is going on. At, uh, so once that is done uh, you, you know that some of the SQs that they do give to you should be able to know if you, the people in your farm are working or if there is any foul play going on in the farm All right. Um, so also, also endeavor to ensure that your farm is secure you don't just build a farm in an open space you go home and sleep without anybody on site, without anybody in the farm, and then you go home and sleep. It's, it's something that is very, very bad. Ensure that your farm is secure. Ensure that it's very, very secure. If not, the second owners will go in there and they will go with your fish. And also, for those of you that have eating pond, eating pond is a semi environment, is a semi natural environment. For, uh, for fish but because you have that you should not just go home and sleep you really need to do something about it either you cover it with net those nets we still have them in case you want to buy from us fishing nets to cover your pond we have them you cover your pond with net so that predators will, will go in there to fish your fish like the kingfisher like the alligator lizard 
like so many things that pick fish, you know, you need your, your pond needs to be covered. If not, at the end of the day, you end up accusing your workers that they have been selling your fish, you know. But once you put those things in place, your pond is covered. This is that. Once you ensure that everything needful is done in your farm, then if, there's, if, if there should be any smell of foul play, of uh, any foul play in the farm, then you should be able to hold your manager, your workers, uh, responsibly because every other everything has everything has been put into consideration. Then why are the fish missing? You know, you ask such questions. Also, the disadvantages of having an eating pond. I do tell people there are a lot of disadvantage with at pond. You know, when you buy fish at post fingerling stage, some people buy fish at fingerling stage. They turn it into the into ethan pond, and within uh, maybe they buy five thousand fingerlings, turn it into ethan pond, and within uh, within 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 one month, the fish has reduced to two thousand. Yes a lot of cannibalism taking place inside a lot of uh, so many things happening inside and you end up accusing your workers so ensure you always sort your fish it's always very very difficult to sort inside an eating pond that's why we always advise people if you want to do fish farm consider concrete pond is you can you can manage fish in a concrete pond very very well better than the eating pond that is just one thing, but eating pond is good. However, if you also want to do an eating pond, if you are running an eating pond, it should be in a, in a swampy area. You don't go dig a dry land and you say you want to pump in water. There are times the water won't stay. The water won't stay at all. It won't stay. Even if it stays, it gets polluted easily because there is no underground water flowing in and there is no movement of water from high higher concentrated area to lower concentrated area you know no 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 water no movement of water from the high concentrated area which is the pond itself to lower concentrated area which is the surround uh, environment like the swamp so at the end of the day the water gets polluted easily and what you will need to do is that you will still pump it out using energy using electricity or using a, 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 a pump yeah pump to pump the water out and you see that it's double expenditure you are using energy to pump in water you're also using energy to discharge water you know but if you are you operating a concrete pond you know that you use energy to pump in water into the concrete pond and during the discharge is a free flow free flow yeah so those are the advantages however we're still planning a, a master class that is going to take place in Lagos and it's going to be the entire southwest. Uh, we've been considering, we've been working the, the Fish Academy management team. We've been trying to put everything in place. And uh, we come to a conclusion that it's going to be the entire southwest where we're going to have Lagos State, Ogun State, Ondo State, um, uh, name them, uh, or your state, or your state. Uh, Oshun, did I mention that? On do I mention that? Or your uh, Ekiti state, uh, and and one more. So we're gonna have a southwest. We're gonna. Yeah, okay, someone is asking how about Portacourt. We we had a master class in Portacourt last year, April. We are still planning that. We are still once everything is ready, we are going to project everybody. You are going to see how the. How the how the master class different location where we are going to hold our master class and we are still considering portacourt again this year portacourt is we con we are considering portacourt again this year all right and uh, okay also benin and ever don't worry we are coming to your area fish academy will actually reach you we actually reach you okay so that's that and um just do everything to ensure you make profit from your farm. For you to make profit from your farm, you need to produce to feed your fish. For you to make good profit. There are people that buy feed, they make profit, but they are, but if those people should, um, if these people should, if you should produce your own fish feed in your farm, you, I tell you, you make more money than the people that buy to feed their fish. 
all right so we have the raw materials all available everywhere so once you what we do is that once we sell you a pellet machine we also endeavor to give you the formula for you to use to produce your fish feed all right uh emmanuel emmanuel guess you're in portaco thank you for checking on us and um i hope to see you one of these days in portaco also all right so it's one hour into the program and there uh i think we really need to end this session here today uh for those of you that have dropped messages uh below using the comment uh, box i'm going to we're going to do our best to reply those messages and don't forget the number on the on the title of the show that is our number you can reach us you can reach fish academy through that number or you mail us at uh, first fish academy at gmail first fish academy at gmail.com first fish academy is registered with the corporate commission affair of nigeria and um uh with our facility in port harcourt all right thank you very much and um we'll come your way till i come your way again i remain your humble friend bye for those of you that have uh, been with us from the beginning of this video till now and if you are just joining us all you need to do is for you to go watch the video again from the very beginning till where you really join us i love you all bye